Welcome back to Acing AP Biology. In this lesson, we will dive deep into bacteriophages, which are viruses that infect bacteria. Bacteriophages are composed of a complex capsid coat, a nucleic acid core, which can be either DNA or RNA, a sheath, and tail fibers. Bacteriophages can be either virulent or temperate. If they are virulent, they utilize the lytic cycle. If they are temperate, they reproduce via the lysogenic cycle. In the lytic cycle, virus replication results in the bursting or lysis of the host cell. First, the bacteriophage attaches to the host cell using its tail fibers that bind to a specific receptor on the bacterial surface. Next, the tail fibers bend almost like they are squatting and the viral genome is injected into the host cell. The bacterial DNA is then disintegrated. The virus uses the bacterial DNA and enzymes to reproduce its own genome and viral proteins through the processes of transcription and translation. Then, self-assembly takes place, where the viruses spontaneously assemble their components together. After self-assembly, the bacteriophages exit the cell and the swell swells and bursts. The viruses induce the production of an enzyme that can destroy the bacterial cell wall, allowing them to exit. Temperate viruses reproduce with either the lytic or lysogenic cycle. In the lysogenic cycle, viral reproduction does not result in the killing of the host. The virus enters the cell the same way as in the lytic cycle, by binding to the receptor and injecting the viral genetic material into the cell. Instead of the bacterial DNA disintegrating, the viral genome incorporates itself into the bacterial DNA through genetic recombination. This is called a prophage. Now, as the bacterial DNA replicates itself via binary fission, the viral DNA is also replicated, allowing for the viral genome to spread quickly. The expression of the prophage can generate a phenotypic change in the bacteria. Then, the lysogenic cycle can switch to the lytic cycle, usually due to an, to an environmental factor. Now the virus becomes virulent and the viral genome is cut from the bacterial DNA. The lytic cycle then takes place and the viruses are eventually released, resulting in the destruction of the cell. That's it for bacteriophages. In the next lesson, we will explore animal and plant viruses. See you then. For more bio content, hit subscribe.